Has this ever happened to you? Ah! If not, it most certainly will someday. In this video, I'll be sharing with you an inexpensive, easy way to find out why that check engine light or other warning lights are on. Then at the end, I'll give you my honest opinion of this device. It's an onboard diagnostic tool that works through an app. Full disclosure, like many of you watching this video, I think, I know very little about scan tools, but they do come in handy. Even if you don't plan on doing the repair yourself, at least you'll have some idea what's going on before you take your vehicle to a mechanic. The maker of this one sent it to us to use and do a review on it. So this is how this one works. All modern vehicles have this type of plug, usually up underneath the dash on the driver's side. This is where your mechanic will plug in a big, very expensive scan tool. It'll have a whole bunch of buttons, who knows what they're all for, and a screen that's bigger than my first television. This scan tool plugs in the same way, but uses your phone as the screen. First, we start the engine. Then, we plug in the module. Now it's gonna ask you for the, your unit's serial number, and that's printed on a little white label on the module itself. Just enter that. Your sensor is being tested. Please be as close as possible to the vehicle where you inserted the sensor. Can't get much closer than this. And then hit submit, and that automatically comes up. It recognized this as a 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. Now we're gonna hit the big green button and do a scan. It's checking, it's checking. Comes back that your car is in good health and it found no problems. So let's see what happens when there is a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this sensor at our brakes. See what happens. And as you can see, we have a bunch of lights lit up on our dash. We'll go to the app, the big green button again. It's checking, checking. And it came back saying that it did not find any problems. But obviously there is a problem. I'm gonna plug that sensor back in and try, try a different one. I'm gonna unplug this one. And obviously this one matters because the engine just died. Let's go look. Okay, now we've got just about every dash light there is on the dash turned on. Let's go to the app, hit the green button. It's checking. Okay, here it says it found four issues and the uh, green dot turned red. So obviously this is a pretty serious one, which of course it is, the engine died. Uh, yeah, it says mass or volume airflow, intake air temperature circuit. So all that must have been in that plug that I unplugged. So that came up just fine. Okay, it started back up again, but as you can see, our check engine light is still on. So we'll go to the app, and there's a little button on here that says clear codes. We're gonna hit that. And once you hit that button that says clear codes, it's gonna pop up this little screen uh, asking you if you for sure want to clear the codes. And then you hit yes. And then that cleared it. All the warning lights on the dash turned off. So that pretty much sums up the scanner function. Now we're gonna get to something that is really cool about this thing. In the app, you can bring up live data from virtually every sensor on the vehicle. Simple stuff like RPM, speed, coolant temperature, fuel pressure, along with all the oxygen sensors, the fuel delivery sensors, just about everything. There's space for four of these live sensors on the screen. Just pick which ones you wanna keep an eye on and you can monitor them while you're driving. Now obviously it's gonna be missing some of the features of those big handheld units, but it's not nearly as complex as one of those big handheld units. These are the instructions that come with it. It's crazy simple to use. 
This thing is like 30 bucks. And like I said before, downloading and using the app is totally free. No waiting to get home or to a parts store or a mechanic to plug in a scanner. As soon as the light comes on, you can instantly get an idea of what the problem is. This can come in handy, especially if you suspect something might be wrong, but it's not bad enough to throw a code yet. And it can be fun to just watch what the sensors are reading. Where the simplicity of this is appealing, it does lack some of the diagnostic features that a handheld has. Most notable is transmission temperature. That's the one that I was hoping this would have. I have an ongoing problem with my daily driver, a Ford. It doesn't have a conventional gas cap. Little bits of debris will get caught in the capless fuel filler flap. Say that 10 times. And that messes with either vacuum or pressure in the tank, causing the check engine light to come on. Happens all the time. I fix it by blowing it out with an air hose and then disconnecting the battery for a little while to get the check engine light to go off. Last time it happened, I had this plugged in, I brought up the app, but it didn't tell me that there was a problem or even that the check engine light was on. I don't know why it didn't, but that got me to thinking about just how accurate this is. For the price and the simplicity of this little thing, um, I think it's worth having. Although I, I really question its accuracy. Um, I don't know why it didn't show up that the uh, ABS line or uh, stability control line was unplugged from the master cylinder. Um, that's a little concerning, but it did detect the other one. So, you know, I don't think it'll ever replace a real scan tool, but I mean, it's, it's something to play with. If this is your first time watching one of our videos and you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell if you want to be notified.